They are professionals in every sport. Basketball, hockey, soccer, and in this instant, tennis. What makes a tennis player professional though? And what factors contribute to a tennis player's success? Through my research, I have discovered that according to the United States Tennis Association, there are seven values for player development. They are confidence, determination, engagement, professionalism, resilience, respectfulness, and being tough. These seven core values were developed with USTA's national coaches and Dr. Larry Lair. This presentation will focus on determination, resilience, maintaining mental health, and overcoming obstacles. Before exploring how these players are successful, let's briefly talk about the game of tennis. According to the official Olympics.com website, tennis is one of the most physically challenging sports and mentally demanding ones too. There are four Grand Slam tournaments. There are the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. In a match, there are three or four sets that are played. The winner claims the best out of four, men's, or three, women's. Each set consists of four games and the players must win by two games. The points start off 0-0. First point is 15, second is 30, third is 40, and fourth is game. The player gets two chances of service. Both serves go out, it's called a double fall. What are some of the obstacles tennis players experience and have to overcome? According to the, to the website tenniscamper.com, it states, the willingness to put effort is hard. It's important that tennis players train their bodies and their minds. The two mental mind blocks are fear and laziness. Laziness is an unproductive mindset. When you're lazy and you want to be good, but you don't practice, how are you going to get good? Fear can be another mental mind block. Fear is something that occurs due to our own mindset. Every single situation can create fear. From tests to skydiving, if you allow fear to take control of you, it will become your overall mindset. I interviewed Nick Hummel, a pro at Lifetime, who is my personal coach. He states, Extremely tough mental sport tennis is. It has to deal with your perfections and your imperfections. You have to be okay with making mistakes. Most people want to be successful immediately. That's just not how it works. How does maintaining your mental health impact positively in your tennis career? Robin Soldering, a tennis player, had a great career. Robin Soldering was doing good in 2009. He met Rafael Nadal in the finals in the French Open. Winning the finals, he met the finals again in 2010, but lost to Nadal. By the time Soldering was 26, he was done from experiencing anxiety, panic attacks, and mono. Mono, or monoclosis, is a viral infection that causes fever, sore throat, and swollen limb glands most often in the neck. He states, my entire immune system was bad because of the mental health and stress I put on myself. Even on my rest days, I was never switched off. Then my body just tipped over. I went from being able to play five set matches to not being able to walk up the stairs. In SutterHealth.org, it says to boost your mental health, focus on eating plenty of food, fruits and vegetables, along with foods and rich omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, dark green leafy vegetables in particular are brain protective. Nuts, seeds, and legumes such as beans and lentils are also excellent brain foods. These are the exact ways to improve your mental health when you're an athlete. What role do coaches play in a tennis player's success? Although being kind of underrated, the coach's role on a tennis player's development is of tremendous importance. This is stated in an article called Professional Tennis Players and Their Coaches. It also states a classic and recent example of this is Andy Roddick's improvement under the guidance of Larry Stefani. The American coach made his player drop weight for starters and then turned Roddick into a better player by making him work out the points with more patience and strategy. Leaving pure power behind, in result, was a semi-final appearance at the Australian Open. This is important because it shows the impact the coach made on Andy Roddick. All of this created a great expectation about Andy's performance at home in the US Open. In conclusion, how do you have a fulfilling tennis career? You need to be mentally tough, overcome roadblocks, believe that your coach is trying to help you, but most importantly, you need to believe in yourself. This is what makes your success happen.